I should have also said that um, when you're going to remove the, the chassis, I should have also said that you're going to need to take one of the lower cabinet protectors off because it kind of, um, it, it blocks the corner of the chassis from leaving, leaving the cabinet. So, uh, Jose, y you, my friend, are going to need some new power tubes. Um, I, I'm hoping that I could at least stand up the power amp uh, with these just for uh, further testing. And look how nice that looks already. It's starting to look nice. Um, and then I love how PV just, they welded the, uh, the mounting plates just out of steel on these transformers. Just unbelievable, un unbelievably rugged. That's what they were known for. And, uh, and back home, you couldn't go to a bar on anywhere along the Gulf Coast without seeing PVs on a back line. It was more than just goodwill or, or good um, or good salesmanship from the, the guys over at PV. It was because the things sounded great and they delivered the goods. And they just never broke. I had a classic 30 that I, I wish I never... Uh, sold. I don't remember even when I did sell it. It must have been in like 2001 or something. I've, I've been chasing that sound ever since. Why didn't I just go back and buy another one? Well, I did, but it was one of the newer ones and the quality had fallen quite a bit. Quite a bit. Um, What else? Yeah, your wife is going to let her back in the house after this one, Jose. So, um, the, the power cord, as discussed, it, it's broken at... Oh, pardon me. At the strain relief clamp or cable clamp. Um, I'm just going to trim it um, about eight inches down and run some new leads and then we'll reattach it to the chassis. If, if you guys have ever been inside of a, a PV Classic 50, then this is just going to start uh, tripping the lights for you. You're going you're gonna to see that lineage there on the inside if it's not just patently obvious here on the outside. Super cool amps. And the Classic 50 is another one that's just total sleepers, man. Total sleepers.